Hey, I'm Rick Carlson, and I've been told that it's kind of unusual to have a garage full of bikes. The ones you see behind me, if you notice, there's no room in here for anything except bicycles. I got about 18 of them. I kind of was on, acting under the assumption that everyone had a garage full of bikes, but I've been doing this for, oh, I've been loving bikes since I was a little kid, but the last couple of years I've just really gotten into it heavy. I especially love 26-inch coaster brake bikes from all oh, the 40s, 50s. And about two years ago, I got this bike. Uh, I paid $220 for a really rusted Hulk. And uh, one thing I love about it, it's a 1940 Schwinn Royal. And uh, it's the last year for this flared frame. And in subsequent years, after post-World War II, they went to parallel tubes. But so that just sort of defines the year. It has a Springer front fork, which we first saw in 1938. Gives you a smoother ride. It's uh, not, I'm not trying to pass it off as an original. It's just something that's representational of about a 1940 Schwinn uh, Royal, whatever, ha what have you. Uh, the next bike that I did, I found this bike in the trash, two blocks over from my house. And uh, it was painted uh, just god awful brown color. And I didn't do anything with it. I let it sat in the crawl space forever. And then I got it out. I thought, eh, I rode it some of it. It's a nice riding bike. And I started to sand the paint. And underneath the horrible brown, metallic brown, was an even more horrible light blue color. And then I kept sanding. I found this red. And this is close to what the original paint job, including this design here that I found with additional sanding. I found this and I replicated that. Uh, I replaced the rims because they were so far gone, but um, it has a, a home security alarm horn in it, just for fun, because the original horn was completely missing. And uh, this bike was made here in Michigan City in the 1950s. This is about a 1955 model Rex, sold by J.C. Penney. It was made at the Excelsior uh, bike plant. And uh, they made bikes for Hawthorne, uh, Montgomery Wards, Hawthorne, uh, Foremost, and uh, a number of others. But uh, this is a fun bike. It's just, I've had a lot of fun with it. Uh, also from the 50s, probably the same era, is a AMF Roadmaster luxury liner with a really cool Springer front fork. Lovely ride, probably the heaviest bike I've ever tried to pick up. It probably weighs around 60 pounds. But uh, built to last. I mean, it's like a tank. It's like a Cadillac with no motor. Um, it's about as hard as pedaling a Cadillac would be, too. <laughs> um, one bike that I was very eager to get, I got it in Marinette, Wisconsin, and I was so excited to get it. Uh, it's a 1948 Schwinn Admiral girls' bike. But it's disappointing in that it just rides really heavy. But it's, it's a great example. It's a really pretty example, original paint and nice chrome. And uh, it's got the original working horn. And uh, that's a lot of fun. But it just rides hard. So I, eh, I don't, I'm not crazy about it. But that's the way it goes. You win some, lose some. And uh, another one, 1940 or so, 48, uh, Ward's Hawthorne. You see Montgomery Wards right there? And, uh, but it also has, <laughs> with the addition of some J.C. Higgins sheet metal that was given to me, uh, and that's just a really fun, smooth riding bike, and I, I just adore it. It's, I've, I'm kind of a, into an asymmetry thing with unmatching hand grips, and um, I don't know. It's just, just a lot of fun. And Another girl's bike, and if you'll notice, a lot of these are girl's bikes because that's what survived. You know, the boys tore their bikes to pieces, and girls were really careful about what they did with their bicycles. This is a real nice 1965 original paint. It's pitted. It's got a little surface rust, not bad though. Um, tank light and a front rack and a rear rack. Um, it's a 1965 Huffy, and uh, I have the seat got, uh, I uh, reupholstered the seat, cost me $50 just for that. I only paid 40 for the bike. But, you know, like I said before, you don't do this because you uh, expect to make money. You do it because you love it. Uh, and if you notice, these have all been girls' bikes so far, which brings me to uh, a more rare, <laughs> only because it's a boys' bike. Uh, this is a BF Goodrich, made by Schwinn, sold in the Goodrich tire stores from the late 40s until about 1960 or so. And it's a skip tooth chain. 
Uh, the older, older style has a that gap there. Um, it just it dates it. It doesn't make any particular ride or performance difference. It's just what they were doing back then. Um, but this was given to me by my friend, who's a farmer in Laporte, Indiana. It was this original dark green color, which he couldn't stand. So he took some rust oleum and brush painted it. And I think it's kind of cute. Although it would be lovely to have it be the original. Uh, we have here a 1940 or so, 41 Winton Gold Eagle. And the, one of the cool things about this bike was it lived for a lot of years in a crawl space sitting in the sand. And so the rim right here was buried, <laughs> buried in the sand. And unfortunately, it's very corroded, but still kind of cute. I love the Flash Gordon chain guard. Um, uh, that's my word for it. It has a, a dog leg crank, which if you look from above it, instead of having just the uh, usual curve like most bike cranks did, it has this little bend in it, just a design element. And uh, it's got the original seat. A really smooth riding bike with a really long wheelbase. The gap in here from this seat tube to the rear wheel is about two inches longer than most bikes. Makes for a longer wheelbase and a nicer ride. Um, so that's an enjoyable one. And that's about it. This thing's like a like a horse. It's so long. Oh, I really lucked out. I went to the the this wheel rode terribly, and it. They just had some old bearings that just fit this. I think I got them for six or seven bucks. And it made it ride so much better. My, my stable. Have you ever, have you ever ridden a 70 year old bicycle? You know, try this one. It glides, it's nice. Are we still on? Thank you for watching. That's pretty much my, my area of interest.